morning everybody. My skin is terrible. I'm not even gonna deny it. I'm not even gonna try and hide it. You know what? I was like, I'm gonna make a poem before I start my vlog, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> it's a Saturday and I'm probably not filming the gingerbread thing till later on and I probably will end up wearing makeup for that, but right this minute, I don't care. And I wanted to start my vlog because it's <laughs> almost 11. Um, I haven't been up that long because I wanted to try and get some editing done, which I haven't really done yet. Um, but I plan on trying to get it done today. I'm going to open the calendar, but first we've still got a fair bit of this candle left. So I'm going to just light this up. Also, I'm kind of bloated, so yeah. I hate it when some people take pictures and they do this. I'm like, why are you arching your back? Like, you know, you're either bloated or you're not. Uh -huh. Thomas, is that you? I can't do my candle. My thumb hurts. Look. Baby picture pose. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> I know, I can't get it rolling. What is that gas? No, it's not. It's new, isn't it? It's not our gas. Just need to get those little graded things rolling and it'll be fine. Here, give it to the master. There you go, like that. And then. Boom! Okay. That's meant to be Christmas cookie, but I didn't open yesterday, so we're going to open seven. Well, oh, these nails are going to make it even harder than before. I can't do it. This one doesn't... I don't know. These candles are so confusing. Because I feel like it smells like Christmas cookie, but then I... Open the eighth. It's the eighth today, you idiot. Oh. I told you I didn't open yesterday. Yeah, they, they, but they're both Christmas cookie. Oh, my calendar's a mess. Hey guys, so I have to go to the chemist today to get some stuff. And oh, oh my god, that was really close. What? It's almost knocking over my candle. Fire hazard. Oh. That. I didn't say it was my not my fault. Anyway, I have to go to the chemist because I'm starting a new laxative today. Um. I need to go get my pain meds and I also need to get an inhaler because I thought I had mine, I had one in the bedside drawer, it turns out I don't, <clears throat> having a bit of trouble today so better be safe than sorry. So today's outfit is this black top I was wearing and I've got like a skirt on, if you guys know what those are, it's like shorts but a skirt as well, like it looks like a skirt but it's like shorts, but it looks like shorts at the back, well I'm not going to show you because I hate my bum, but um yeah you can sit kind of there <laughs> but i'm actually getting my bum back how exciting is that i like my thighs i like my breasts they're very nice comment down below if you know where that's from you ready bubba oh tom wants me to bake for him he wants me to make him something and he came up with like snowman profiter rolls i don't know if that's his idea or he's seen it somewhere I don't no that means you've seen it somewhere <laughs> But he was saying like stack two profiteroles rolls on top, use white chocolate instead of dark chocolate and then maybe like some icing sugar for like snow. I don't know, might be a bit of, a bit, a bit, uh, what's the word? Hard. Too much, effort. too much effort, yes, to do that. I might end up just getting like a muffin mix or something. I really wanted to make banana bread. So anyway, we're about to head out and do some shopping. <laughs> Love a good Aldi shop, guys. A hundred dollars later. To be fair, though, we got a lot of stuff, and for a hundred dollars, like for what we got, like if we were to go to like Coles and get that, it would have been like two hundred plus dollars, guaranteed. And we found some Florentines, which I don't know if you guys remember, but Tom and I were actually looking for them last year, and Aldi didn't have them because they had them. They have them in like Aldi England, but they don't have them in Australia. And last year we were so disappointed. But we found them this year, so... Are you putting your music on? I don't know if <laughs> Hey, everybody! So, I wanted to just show you these. They're from Aldi. I don't know if they're in Aldi all over the world or just Aldi Australia. But they're really, 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 really good. They're protein bars and they're, this is peanut butter flavour and it's got like chocolate chips as well. And literally, they are so nice. And they drain super well for me, so it's something I can have. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. Tom makes the best, what do you call them? Stuffed peppers. He just gave me a little bit of the sauce. Oh, oh my God. Literally, you need to give people this recipe. 
Is it secret though? No, it's from Tesco. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. This is what it feels like to be on my ID pole. I've come to show you guys. So these are the peppers. We picked really, really nice ones that are like quite square and you know, like, mmm. And this, hang on, get the lid to go on properly. That's the, the meat, the sauce stuff. Oh, it's so good. I'm hoping that there's gonna be leftovers. Oh my God, he's gone, while he's gone. Let me eat some before he comes back. Oh, it's gonna be so hot, I can't shove it in either. He's coming, he's coming. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm. Mm. Also, I want to show you something else that I got from Aldi that I love so much. Let me show you. Mm. Mm -mm. It is sorbet. I don't know if you guys are a fan of sorbet or not, but this stuff is so nice. Gel gelativo. Ta -da. That's how you pronounce it. It's lemon and lime flavor, and it's so nice. Dairy-free people as well. And it's made with real fruit, so you can't go wrong. It's pretty tart, but if you, you know, like that stuff. Oh, and it's gluten-free. Look at that. Oh, anyway, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. Hey, guys, so I think it was yesterday. Um, yeah, it was yesterday when I talked about starting a new laxative. I'm going to show you guys what it is. And if any of you have been on it, let me know your experience with it. The laxative that I'm starting is called Lactulose. Let me show you. I currently take Ducalax from, um, how much do I take of that? 10, I think I take like 10 to 20 milligrams twice a day. Um, and that seems to work for me, but apparently I'm not going often enough. I'm going like every one and a half to two weeks. Um, so they want me to try this on top of that one. Um, so it's called Lactulose and they want me to take five mils three times a day, which is going to be tough for me because as you guys know, I can't tolerate a lot of liquid down my tube. Um, it just makes me very sick. So, yeah. Hopefully, I'll give this a go tonight. I'll take my first dose tonight. I don't really want to take it now and then feel, excuse me, and then feel really, really rough all day. I'd rather take it before bed and then, you know, I'll know how I'm gonna, excuse me, I'll know how I'm gonna feel uh, rather than make myself feel rubbish all day. Um, but yeah, let me know if you've tried this and your experience with it. Guys, Tom and I found these well, I was going to say choc ices, but they're really, really similar to choc ices. For some reason, Australia don't really know what a choc ice is. If you are from England, you will know what a choc ice is because you're basically brought up eating that. It's ice cream, and usually it's not on a stick. It's just like a bar. But we found these ice creams that are identical to choc ices, except they have little sticks, so they're perfect, and they taste pretty much just like them. Pretty good. You can hear the neighbours being very loud like they were the other morning and i tried to vlog it but it wasn't working <laughs> oh didn't Hello. see you there and welcome to another episode of things that make you go hmm. <laughs> did if they existed did adam and eve have belly buttons because they wouldn't have needed them would they Things that make you go, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, like a week before I got my tube surgery for my button, also yes, I'm like really, really blowy again. My fault, but anyway. Like a week before I got my tube surgery, I ordered the Five Feet Apart book and it still hasn't arrived. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? But on the website, it said it was meant to arrive the 21st of November. However, it had already been, I think it was like the 28th or no, it wasn't because, when did I have my tube surgery? Yeah. So I had my tube surgery on the night, on the 29th and I ordered it like the beginning of that week. So I ordered it on the 26th. So it had already been past the 21st. So I knew it wasn't going to come then. So then I kind of debated whether they meant the 21st of December rather than the 21st of November. And I really hope not because that's like a while away. Well, it's not ages away, but it's like, ugh. I really want to read the book so badly and I mean I could have bought like the Kindle version you can get but I really like certain books especially like this particular type of book I really wanted like a hard copy so and I thought what I might do 
if you guys would be interested is I might give it away after I know this sounds really stupid but maybe I'll like sign it or something because you guys said about getting like professional pictures done and me signing them and like, auto like, like and then writing like a little private message to you guys like you'd, if you'd be interested in buying something like that but I really don't think like would you guys generally be interested if I did something like that because Tom possibly got me a little what did you what? call it a gig remember mm. Tom possibly possibly got me like a little like collaboration with like a photo studio in Perth um so if I end up doing that I like that's professional pictures so I might get those like printed and then sell them I don't know that sounds really really like self-centered and yeah I don't know let me know guys because I want to bring something else out like merchandise wise that you guys can buy but I just don't know what to do because most of you guys have shirts or jumpers um and unless I bring out a new design you know you're not going to want to buy more of the item so let me know like what I can sell that you guys would be interested in I don't know let me know hey guys we just set up my TPN and I just wanted to show you something cool that I find really cool so we have these little cotton balls on the dressing packs. Let me show you these. This has all been used, so I can touch it now. Like I'm all like hooked up and it's ready to go. But I just wanted to show you these balls. They're super absorbent and like this is just excess TPN. And I just want to show you how cool it looks when you put the balls in there and then they just like kind of soak it all up. So well, this one seems to not work very well, but normally when you put them in. You can see it all draw up. Oh, yay, it's kind of working. It's kind of hard to see. Hang on, let me show you now that there's a little bit less in there. Do you guys see it? Like drawing up from the side. It's so cool. Normally it works so much better. And of course the one time I show you it doesn't work very well. But anyway. Hey guys, so it's kind of late-ish. It's 11 o'clock. Um, you can probably hear the neighbours. They're being so loud. They're obviously having like a party or something next door. Um, but I'm about to head to bed and before I did, I just wanted to quickly say goodnight to you guys because, yeah, I just didn't want to forget to end my vlog. So if you guys did enjoy today's vlog, please do give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. Tom and I are heading to bed now, like I just said. Um, I'm going to go see my mom, my grandma and everyone tomorrow because I've only seen my grandparents once since they arrived. So we're going to go see them tomorrow morning before the game and then we've got the Wildcats playing. So fingers crossed that they good match tomorrow because they lost on Thursday and I was I was sad <laughs> but anyway if you guys did enjoy today's vlog and you're enjoying vlogmas so far please do give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and yeah I love you guys so so much and I'll see you tomorrow